Hi everyone! Surprise, I am blonde. <laughs> I wanted to make this video talking about my experience. Um, I've never done such a drastic change with my hair, so I kind of just wanted to talk about, you know, how I'm maintaining it. It's been about a week. So, yeah, it's been about a week since I had my hair dyed blonde, and um, I'm still trying to get used to it. People still look at me, or like at school, you know, and or my friends, and they're kind of like, whoa, you're really blonde. Um, but I think it's a good change, you know, it's always good to change up your hair color, and be adventurous in that way. Um, I, I'm not new to dyeing my hair. In middle school, I used to dye it red, and I used to dye it like jet black and brown. And in high school, um, I mainly dyed it brown because I didn't like my natural hair color. And then, um, most recently, like a little bit more than last year, you can go back to a couple of my videos, I had like a little bit of highlighting done, but I didn't really like the way those turned out. So ever since then, I've been kind of dyeing it little by little to try to get the highlights out. And then last week I just went in and went blonde. And just keep in mind that any time that you dye your hair in any which way, whether you go lighter or darker, it's going to damage your hair in some way. So it's important to, you know, keep it healthy so that it will last you longer. Got this done, I had asked my hairstylist, um, you know, what she recommended I shampoo with, and she told me that I should check out some of the John Frieda products. And that they also sell um, a purple shampoo at Sally's to keep your hair from turning brassy. These up, they're a little wet, so I don't really want to clean them up. Tone correcting shampoo, and it says right there that it neutralizes brassiness, which is something that, you know, if you're blonde, you don't want to turn, you don't want your hair to turn orange. So this will help it with that. Um, you're supposed to use this um, like three times a week. So what I do is I use it, I alternate it between my regular shampoo and this. So every other wash, I will wash with that shampoo, or wash my hair with that shampoo. And between the John Frieda shampoos, before I dyed my hair, I was using the Brazilian Keratin Therapy Conditioner, or this is a conditioner, but the shampoos. By organics this stuff is really amazing I love it I've talked about this before in videos um, I had run out of my shampoo and I had picked up the Moroccan argan oil because everybody's been talking about this stuff and honestly I don't like it as much as I like the Brazilian keratin it smells really good these don't feel like it moisturizes my hair as much as this I haven't bought a um, like a heavy conditioner for my hair when I'm in the shower. So in the meantime, I'm gonna, I just use this stuff and leave it on for longer. And I know that these people or this brand has a uh, deep conditioner. I just haven't bought it yet, but I've just been using this, like I said, leave it in for like four minutes, not longer. And it's really made a difference. Um, the first day that I washed my hair, it literally did not feel like my hair, it just, you just feel like the damage and you feel your hair really thick. I mean, it's still pretty thick, but nothing like the first time I washed it. It was just like horrible to straighten. It was horrible to blow dry. It just really felt strawy and nasty, but um, this has really helped. And you can really feel the difference after you condition your hair with anything that's a deep conditioner because it's important. Like I said before, to keep your hair as healthy as you possibly can, especially after bleaching your hair. And then after I, um, I get out of the shower, I will a little towel dry my hair a little bit and then just use this, which is what I used before in my brown hair as well. And it's just the Pantene medium to thick hairstyle cream. And it acts kind of like a leave-in conditioner to kind of protect your hair before you blow dry and all that good stuff. And then I've been going crazy on my heat protective spray right before I straighten. Again, trying to keep my hair, you know, as good <laughs> as I possibly can. This is just the Tresemme. After I straighten it to add a little bit more moisture um, and to kind of 
reduce the straw-like feel, which, like I said, it doesn't feel as strawy as it did like the first day, but it still it feels different still. So I've just been using the olive oil, um, which I think my mom got this at Sally's, but you know everybody's been using argan or Moroccan oil, so you can use whatever type of oil or serum that you apply after you straighten. Then I've also been enjoying the wide tooth comb that I have. I've been leaving this in my shower and when I condition, you know, I just kind of get the tangles out and then also detangle my hair before I blow dry. I experienced dyeing my hair blonde. It was crazy. Um, it took about three hours to get my hair to be this color. Um, it was definitely not a pleasant experience. Um, it hurt. It stung. My scalp was on fire. Um, I have a pretty good pain tolerance, but if, you know, you're a little weak, um, it, it'll probably hurt a lot. Um, it's definitely comparable to getting a tattoo, believe it or not, because it's just like you want to scratch and you want to like, I don't know, it just, it wasn't that fun. <laughs> I can start to see some of the roots starting to poke in or poke out, so if you are going to dye your hair, <laughs> blonde is just keep in mind that it's going to be a long process. Um, your hair is eventually going to grow out um, and you're going to see the roots so you're going to have to do retouches and yeah it's going to be damaging so it's important for you to take care of your hair if you want it to last a long time. Yeah if you are a blondie out there and have any tips for me leave a comment down below but thank you so much for watching. And I hope that this wasn't too freaky. You look so weird. Uh, let me turn this off because it's a little distracting.